surgery for today is a uh, complex reconstruction. This 74-year-old woman has an osteoporotic compression slash burst fracture. You can see this bone is completely collapsed. I think you can see it a lot better on the CT scan. The green line is obscuring uh, the central area, but there's also a sagittal split component. You can see the pedicles are fractured at the vertebral body. And although there's not direct cord compression, she's lying down here. She cannot walk due to severe pain. Uh, and you can see this little corner of bone is threatening the spinal cord there. This is at L1, and the standard open surgery would require a large thoracoabdominal approach, which includes getting into the chest cavity as well as the abdominal cavity, as you can imagine, a very difficult surgery to recover from. Our strategy will be to do the surgery using minimal invasive techniques, all from the posterior uh, uh, approach, uh, utilizing bilateral paramedian approaches, and essentially I'll do the equivalent of a two-level MIST lift approach, doing the T-lift at the level above, T-lift at the level below, connecting the surgical corridor, and then removing this broken bone, dropping in an expandable corpectomy cage and expanding that back up, and jacking it back up to a more normal height, and then fixing it with screws above and below. What do you got there, Dr. Kim? I am now at the L1 vertebral body and I'm removing all the broken pieces of bone. Also known as Kaka Poo Poo. <laughs> this here, this this here, all this is all the way. The broken bone. Wow. Alrighty, I'm about to put in the implant, so I'm going to drop this in end on, turn it to the right position, roll it so that I can attach the expander. Got to be a little bit like bobbing for apples. I can't put it straight in because with the minimal invasive approach, I only have a hole about that big. Okay, this implant right here will go in end on. I'll rotate it and then I'll expand it with this dial. You just see it's like a car jack. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And it will jack up that collapsed space and act like a, a strut. Hold it up. Okay, I have the implant in. Here's the dural tube right here, that soft thing. You can see the implant expanded to fill this huge space, but I only have that little opening to go in. What are you doing now, Dr. Kim? I have got the rod down. Um, I passed it through these sleeves, and now I'm putting the nut down the rod sleeve guide. How'd the case go, Dr. Tim? It went beautifully. Uh, I was able to do it through two small incisions. We did not lose, lose that much blood. We got a very good reconstruction. Awesome. So now I'm closing the wound. And this is what makes it minimally invasive. Instead of one big, long incision and stripping all the muscle off, two paramedian incisions looking down in either direction to try to keep the muscles in the middle intact. That greatly decreases blood loss muscle trauma and post-op pain. <laughs>